Hey guys, it's me, Kev, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see, and if you're an old subscriber, welcome back. Today's video is 10 things, yes, 10, 10 things that I don't like about Japan. This video is going to be a collaboration video with my girl, Life with Rosie. I'll leave her channel information down below in the description box, so feel free to check out her channel and also to check out to see what she doesn't like about Japan. Now let's get into the video. Before I get into the video, I just want to put a disclaimer out there. I love Japan, but there are some things that I do not like about Japan. It's just my opinion, and if I offend someone, I'm sorry, but there's things to like and to not like about everywhere you live. Number one, the fruit. The fruit is super expensive, so when I go in the store sometimes, I'm like, ugh, should I buy that? You know, because it is so expensive. So most of the time I choose frozen fruit because it will last longer and I don't know if I'm gonna eat fresh fruit right away before it will go bad, so definitely the fruit. Number two, would be food. I know everything is revolving around food. I'm a foodie. I, some of the food in Japan is very expensive and also very small as well. So you might have to buy a lot of something, buy more than one in order to feed your family because the portion sizes are so small. So small. Really small. <laughs> Number three is another Number three is another negative on the food. Well, there's not there's not that many choices, so it's very limited of the food choices that they have. Here I'll put in a clip of some cereal. This is what we have to choose from. It's basically granola, chocolate cereal, and woohoo, frosted flakes. And I'm not even a big fan of frosted flakes. So I tend to not eat, eat as much cereal or I'll get some military friends to purchase the cereal that I love. Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> Number four, if you live off base and you're on the Japanese side of the house, like maybe you come here to visit and you're staying or you're not associated with the military, you do not have an oven. So ovens are very, it's not that normal here, I guess. I don't have an oven. Small oven is called a fish oven. Hair accessories for your daughter would be very expensive here. I pay three or four dollars for a hair clip one hair clip or two hair clips that's ridiculously overpriced number six the geckos yes they're inside the vending machines they also come inside of your house and yes i know that they kill those nasty flying roaches but i don't like the geckos number seven would be say i go to mcdonald's and i want to get a fish sandwich and i want to add tomato and lettuce and onion on it they will not change my order because that is not the rule so they stick to the rules a lot and you cannot change you cannot change the rules i guess it's rude or i don't know maybe at burger king i could have added to my sandwich but definitely not at mcdonald's you're not going to be able to Hey, can I add some mac sauce to that? No, you can't. Number eight, take their time. So if I go into a family mart and I'm rushing, I'm running in there, obviously you can see that I'm in a hurry, but it's like they treat every single customer to the highest extent, I guess you wanna say. Like, it's very good customer service, but if you're in a rush to get out and go, it's like, I don't care that you're in a rush, you're gonna wait and I'm gonna put every little thing in the bag one by one. Okay, I really don't care. I'm in a rush. I gotta go. My kid is late for school. Number nine, not that many trash cans. Not many trash cans. Like, where am I supposed to throw my stuff away? So, I don't know if they're hiding them. Normally, in the States, you'll have these huge trash cans at the gas station, right? And you can clean out your car while you're pumping your gas. There's a tiny little trash can about this big, this big. 
Number 10, they don't explain a lot. So they only give you what you ask for. So for instance, I was in a grocery store and there was a lady walking around the store and she had a husband who was an American, so her kid was mixed, mixed race. So I went up to her with my garlic in my hand and it had something red inside and it was garlic. And I could see that it was garlic, but I wanted to know what the red things were or is this even garlic? So I walked up to her and I said, excuse me, miss, uh, could you tell me if this is garlic, you know? And she was just like, she read the label, of course, and she was like, yes, it's garlic. I'm like, okay, um, what's the red stuff inside, you know? And she's all like, oh, it might be spicy. Like, why didn't you just tell me from the beginning that it was spicy garlic? Spicy garlic, that's all you have to say, and I'm just gonna be like, oh, okay, cool. They're only gonna tell you, like, a little bit. Those are my things that I don't like about Japan. Like I said, I love Japan, but some things really, really annoy me. When you come to Japan, and if it is raining, you might see some people walking outside in the rain. Sometimes they don't have an umbrella, and they walk in the rain like it's not raining. They are soaking wet, and they don't even care. Ah! <laughs> I mean, they have umbrellas for the sun, and they have umbrellas sometimes when it rains, but a lot of the times I see a lot of junior high kids, sometimes adults too, just walking in the rain like it's not even raining. So those are my 10 things that I don't like about Japan. Don't forget to check out my girl Life with Rosie, what she doesn't like about Japan. My name is Cap. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. And leave me a comment down below of additional videos that you want to see me do, like if you want a see inside of a grocery store in Japan or inside of a library in Japan. Just let me know what you want to see and I'll see if I can get that done for you guys. Alright, bye guys.